words matter. Let me talk to you about how those words affected me, impacted me, and how this can relate to you. For some of us, words mean different things and they can have different impacts. Let me just explain by saying that at a very early, very formative age, I remember my father telling me, I thought you knew or you should have known. And I processed that as, well, I wonder, how is it I should have known? When would I have known? In many cases, I was not able to determine exactly how, when, what ended up happening is I process that, I'm dumb. I should have known, but I don't know how or when I should have known. So over and over, I churned in my mind that I'm dumb. At a same formative age, I was at Andrews Air Force Base where I saw an air show, specifically the Air Force Aerial Demonstration Team Thunderbirds, and I thought then, that's what I want to do. I want to be a pilot in that fighter aircraft. I have no idea how, when, didn't have any idea how I might be able to bring that about, but I just knew that became my burning desire. I wanted to do that. But here's the problem I had. In my mind, I'm thinking I'm dumb. In my mind, also, I'm thinking I want to do that, but how do I bridge the gap of I'm dumb. I don't know that I can do that. The way that affected me was my self-confidence. It was probably as low as it could possibly be, and I had no confidence whatever, so I translated that or it manifested itself in being silent. I don't want to tell anybody what I want to do with what some people may say is a very lofty goal only for them to tell me, oh, you couldn't possibly do that. But I thought somehow, some way, I will. I just have no idea how I'm going to make this happen. But here's how words in a positive way impacted me. I liked being with my grandfather and uncle on the dairy farm and their relationship, their acceptance of me help transform my mind. And I want to take you through maybe a 15 year venue of my life where it became an increasing increase in confidence because of relationship with people. And in this case, some unspoken words, but my grandfather was very accepting. He always was conversive with me. I knew I could always speak with him. I asked him a lot of questions where I feel, felt comfortable I could do that. And in that, over a period of time, his acceptance helped increase my confidence. Also on the farm, my uncle, my grandfather's son, the very same way, he and I had a very uh, cordial relationship. Again, he was very accepting of me. And what that related to is he made one statement that I will always remember, let's go look at an unloading wagon. That seems to be a very innocuous statement, but I focused on that's the two of us together, let's look at an unloading wagon. And that's just one more thing that helped increase my confidence, that the two of us had a very accepting relationship and uh, his acceptance of me helped me overcome the negative image I had of myself that I'm dumb and I can't. Progressing further in my life was going to, to high school Football was my sport of choice. And in that context, I knew that I'm not a gifted athlete, but I would have to do something extraordinary to warrant being on the starting, in a starting position on the football team. To this day, I don't know how Coach Harville knew that after working every day on the farm, I would run five miles and I would run wind sprints. I knew I would have to do some conditioning that would be extraordinary, go above and beyond so that I could prove myself worthy of being on the team. I was very fortunate of being able to get a starting position, but Coach Harville said, and I just admired him always, Ron, you're an inspiration to this team with your work ethic. 
that increased my confidence even more in as I'm in college or in high school thinking about I think I need a college degree I'm wondering I'm not sure I can and I did uh, apply to college I was accepted my first official act at college was to go to the bookstore where I saw as soon as I entered the bookstore a really attractive lady at the cash register and I thought then I want to try to get to know her just a little bit more but I didn't have the confidence of dating I went to the cash register and she took in one act one transaction all of my summer earnings and I thought I'm going to keep going to the bookstore, maybe just catch a word or two and just say hello. Maybe I could get her attention. It took me 18 months to gather the courage to ask her for a date. Point of fact, Marty, my current wife, was the only dateable girl to give me her correct telephone number. So here we are 55 years later in marriage. But through Marty, I met her dad, and he and I planned a lot of projects together we would always spend many hours talking, planning, before we ever picked up the hammer. During those interrelationships, he said, Ron, you are a good thinker. That ended, helped increase my confidence even more. And I'm wondering all along that now I'm about to graduate from college, I'm uh, correlating and communicating with the Air Force, can I possibly somehow, some way, be accepted into pilot training? Finally, the day came where the letter came, Ron, you've been accepted to undergraduate pilot training. And I thought, wow, that is what I would hope would happen 15 years earlier and has now come about. And so now, 53 weeks later, having been accepted into undergraduate pilot training, I graduated, and I graduated the number one pilot in the class, and I was awarded the leadership award. None of that could have been in remotely possible, I thought, 15 years earlier, but through those four men, my grandfather, uncle, high school football coach, and Marty's dad, they gave me the confidence that I can. And so here's where I want to go with this. Words matter. The unspoken word with each of those four men were, I believe in you. Even though unspoken, I knew they had a belief in me because our inner relationship and their acceptance of me was such that I knew, even without them speaking the words, they did believe in me, that is huge in helping us over the very negative thoughts about ourselves, elevating our self-confidence, and being able to achieve. Here's my message. As you believe in others, as you project that, even if you do not speak it, others will know you believe. As we believe in each other, we raise the hope of each other. We can help others become the person they were meant to be. As we soar together, and I'm simulating the flying, that we can help elevate others to their maximum potential. I want to do what I can to inspire you to never give up on us who have a low self-confidence, but rather your belief in us can help us to excel to our greatest heights. Let's go work together, fly together, and achieve those heights to help someone achieve their greatest potential. Thank you.